welcome to my scope if you're watching the replay be sure to tap 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 your screen and give lots of hearts because they do apply let me go ahead and flip around really quick hi welcome everybody come on in Oops, let me just get this situated okay so i only have about 10 minutes uh, i just want to do a quick scope and tell you um, something i've noticed that 99.9% uh, .9 of people are doing wrong. Whoop, whoop, <laughs> Meg. Um, so I was doing this wrong for a while. Um, I want to find out. I'll tell you what it is, and then I want you guys to be honest and tell me if you really have been doing this or not. So who uses this? Hi. Who uses this for business or for anything rather than just scoping your life for fun? Okay, so put your like hand emoji or something. <laughs> um, Stephanie, I know you know what's up. So does Meg. Um, so Brandy, we know Brandy does. Inspiration, okay. All right, you are, okay, Raphael, both. Okay, London, awesome. Hi, Anna, hi, Julie. Um, fish oils, no, I don't use fish oils. I mean, I take fish oils sometimes, but I use coconut oil. I did a whole scope on that. Um, <laughs> awesome. Thank you for that. Thanks, Google. Thanks for that tip. Um, <laughs> okay. Christina. Yay. Um, okay. So a lot of people on here are using Periscope for business. Awesome. Yeah. I did a whole coconut oil scope a couple weeks ago when we had lots of coconut oil lovers on here praising coconut oil. <laughs> it's the only thing I put on my face except for a couple little products I use that have like hyaluronic acid. Um, sometimes, but I just, I use coconut oil only. So you guys, this is going to be really quick cause I have to go, but I just wanted to tell you, this is important. A lot of people on here use Periscope for business. Now you don't have to use Periscope for business. The, most of the world is not using it for business or for any reason, right? People are just scoping their lives. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for all the hearts. Um, Hey Bonnie. Yay. Bonnie's awesome, you guys. Bonnie, I bet Do I bet Bonnie knows this tip. I bet you do. Okay. You have to tell me after I tell you if you've really truly been doing this in every single scope or not. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. I'm not going to tell you what you should do on Periscope. That's that's your own deal, right? Like if you are trying to just get a big following cuz you want people, you want an audience. That's cool. You know, if you just want to showcase your life and you experience new things and show people that's cool if you're trying to grow your email list if you're trying to make sales whatever you're trying to do here's what people don't think about before pushing the start broadcast button okay and it's this here's the one thing that they're not doing they're not saying what is my goal for this particular broadcast some people are saying my goal on periscope is to get followers my goal on periscope is to build my list to make sales to make friends, to network, to meet influencers. There's all these things they might be using Periscope for. Drive traffic to my website, sell something, sell my affiliate products, direct selling. Uh, yeah, there's so many people doing so much stuff. And a lot of people have a main goal for Periscope, but who has a specific goal for each broadcast? What's the goal for your broadcast? Okay, who's doing this? Haters don't pay my bills tip. So yes, what's the goal for your broadcast? Now, if so my main goal is usually list building. So I'm going to do a quick plug. If you guys want to learn how to periscope, um, how to get content, uh, I'll give you five days of scoping tips and tell you, I'll walk you through exactly how to scope. Here's my little plug, danielleford.com slash five day. Um, well, it's, periscope is still so new. You don't, you don't have to take on that problem. That's not your problem. <laughs> okay. That's that problem will get uh, figured out. So take a screenshot right here, danielleford.com slash five day. This will take you to my free five day Periscope challenge and you can join an awesome community of scopers. Okay. So that's my main goal for Periscope is to build my email list because then I can offer my services, my products, things like that. And I like to give value and I like to make connections. Okay. Um, <laughs> just head to it. But my goal for this scope is to build my email list. Cause I just showed this, you know, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about Periscope, which is directly related to my offer. If I was talking about this flower over here, <laughs> this would have nothing to do with, the, with it. Okay. Um, everyone needs to start scoping Think, Yeah, absolutely. So th these two things totally correlate my topic and my, my often. Okay. 
<laughs> but every single scope I do, even though list building in general is my periscope goal, okay, I can't every single scope I do be promoting my email list. That's stupid. That's rude. Okay. Brand oh, yay. <laughs> Brandy, you've had like a video crash course from, from that uh, training and everything because I know you're over there repurposing your scopes now. Um, so even if my goal is to build my list, I still need to do other things. I do all sorts of random scopes, but I'll tell you what, every single scope I do has a goal. Here's some things that my, my scopes are, goals are, okay? Engage with my audience, get to know my audience. I don't have to do a scope and think it's a failure because I didn't build my email list. I can just connect with my audience. Um, oh, yay, Daniela. Um, that's a, that's a win. <laughs> if, if I do a scope called let's get to know each other or I do a scope showing my dog and I say, what kind of dog do you have? That's a win, even though I'm not trying to. Oh, yay, Tanya, I love you. <laughs> my drunk scopes are me just entertaining. You know, like sometimes I just want to like put my face out there and say hi and show I'm at the hard rock and I don't like go, by the way, I'll teach you Periscope. Never in one of my drunk scopes am I going to be like, sign up on my list and let me teach you Periscope. No. Uh, my goal on that is just to, <laughs> I have ranting scopes. It's to get a point across. <laughs> Everyone says don't drunk scope. I don't necessarily agree with that. I would say don't shit face drunk scope. <laughs> but a little bit of drunk scoping <laughs> can be fun. I mean, if that's me, I spend about 5% of my life drunk. Let's be honest. <laughs> you know, one, once a, one day of every two weeks or something. Um, tipsy scope, exactly. <laughs> so my goal for those are just to be funny and show people, you know, what Vegas is like and entertaining and like say hi. That's a goal. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what are some other goals? A goal could be, and I do this too, <laughs> um, a goal could be to collect data and information from your audience. So say, what are you guys struggling with? A goal could be to, you know, get information for a future opt-in or blog post or video or a future scope to do. I don't always have to give content. If I come on here and I'm just like, what are you guys doing? I'm chilling. What are you trying to learn? What's, what's stopping you from periscoping? And I get all these these comments, those are future, that's future content for my scopes. That could be a goal, you know? So how many people let me know yes or no, do you have, have you before now had a specific goal per broadcast? Because I see a lot of people saying, um, as to get one post scope engagement there. And Brandy, you're really good at that. You're good with, uh, connecting on Twitter and stuff. Yes. I'm so excited for the summit. I'm so freaking excited. A week, less than a week will be there. So excited. So I can't wait to meet you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Brandy has a good goal. Um, she's always trying to connect with like a person in like, let's say real life, like off a of periscope. Um, oh no. Um, yeah. Future content. So even if you think like I, my email list didn't really grow from the scope, I didn't make any sales. I didn't really get any followers. Followers is a goal. I, sometimes I do a scope and my goal is just to get followers but I'm gonna come on with some good content, but I'm not necessarily, it might be content unrelated to my email opt-in. If it's a Periscope topic, and I can give a Periscope opt-in, if I'm doing a video topic, I can give my video opt-in, you want it to go together, but if I wanna do a scope and talk about something random like how to get confidence, or uh, I did a scope on like how to clean out your computer, I'm not a computer expert, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I would never like teach that, um, it's just like something I learned. So then I might say, hey, this is really good content. Follow me <laughs> for more content. Swipe to the right and invite followers. I'll use my other device and say, click here and follow me because my goal for that scope is just to grow my followers. It's not necessarily to grow my email list. It's not necessarily to um, make a sale. You know, So every scope has a purpose. And sometimes it's just like to, like, you know, with your brand, you guys, your brand is just a story well told. And a lot of times I go and I tell my story and I'll tell my story over and over again. Now I have, I've had a lot of life. Some things aren't in my story. I don't have to like tell everything about my whole life, but as it is related to my brand and my business, you want to keep on driving that into people's minds. So I might say, let me tell you a story about what happened to me last week. Or let me tell you a story about this thing that happened uh, two years ago. I often show my computer Oh, yay, Brenda. I often show my computer and show like talks that I gave or 
uh, you know, something, an award I won. I'm not trying to gloat. That might be just me reiterating my brand. <laughs> like that scope might be the goal of it is to, you know, drive my brand home a little bit more for my audience. I'm not selling anything. I'm not growing my list. I'm not whatever, but I might go, Hey you guys, I was fucking broke two years ago. <laughs> you know, not more like five years ago. No, it was more like seven years ago. God, time flies so fast. I was broke. I was homeless. Basically. Um, I learned that your brand is a story well told from, uh, Julie Quinn true, Quinn true, the brand marketing brand marketing person of Richard uh, Branson's Virgin Companies. She's the one who said that. I saw her in New York a few years ago. Um, and it stuck with me. Your brand is just a story well told. Your brand isn't your logo. Your brand isn't your colors or your copy. It is your copy as far as the story goes. But um, your brand isn't the fact that you said this cool buzzword or whatever. Um, I don't know if she's on Periscope. That's a good question. Your brand is your story well told the correct way to connect with your audience and influence them to do whatever it is you, you have to offer, you know? So for me to come on and people I'll always be like, here's, you know, my Ted talk, but my Ted talk is a very huge part of my brand because I help people get confidence to get on video. And that was my first speech I ever gave. So I'm going to say that over and over again, you know, um, importing scopes, putting on YouTube. I'll tell you the technical way right now is you just record your device on QuickTime if you have a Mac or Reflector app if you have a PC. And then you can use iMovie or Windows Movie Maker to edit uh, and you can put, put it on YouTube. But I also have a course um, that teaches that too. Me and Brandy together have a Periscope course and that goes through everything. So that one is uh, danielleford.com slash HEC for Heart Earned Cash. Thank you. See, you guys, I've told this, the course isn't free. There is, I do have free training on my blog that talks about it too, but this course is uh, $247. But if you type in Periscope coupon, it takes $50 off, and that's till the end of the month, just for the Periscope community. Um, but there's a huge video marketing module in it where I break down everything about rescoping, and it's one of those things you really have to walk through, and then I go into advanced editing and advanced um, uh, repurposing. And this wasn't a sales sales scope. <laughs> it was just a list building scope. Um, I did a sales scope like two days ago where I showed the course, <laughs> you know, um, very close H E C. Um, yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Tanya got it. And she's, you're killing it. You're killing it. Repurposing. I'm about to repurpose your review on that too. <laughs> okay. So you got it. Um, the course really focuses on Twitter, which Brandy in here is uh, my co-creator of that course. She's phenomenal. I've learned so much about Twitter and about building my following over there and some tech, a lot of technical stuff and analytics and things like that. And she's learned a ton about video just from us putting our stuff together in the course. So um, that teaches that, but you can also figure it out yourself. Like I figured out myself how to do it. So if you're techie like that, you can do it with QuickTime or Reflector, you need one of those apps, and then you need to edit it in Windows or, or Windows Movie Maker or iMovie with a 